Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be continuing talking about 7.4 lesson. We are going to start talking about wetlands. Wetlands are special areas where the land is covered by water, either all the time or part of the time. They're like natural sponge, soaking up water like a sponge does with liquid. Wetlands can be found in various places like marshes, swamps, bogs, and even along coastlines. They're important because they provide a habitat for many different plants and animals, including birds, fish, frogs, and insects. Wetlands also help to clean water, prevent floods by absorbing excess water during storms, and store carbon to help combat climate change. They're like natural superheroes supporting biodiversity and protecting our environment. We have here a reading check with, from your textbook. How would filling in a wetland to create a field affect the surrounding environment? So the plants would be destroyed, the animals would have to leave or die, water that would have been soaked up might flood the surrounding areas. Then we have the sustainable forest management. The sustainable forest management is all about taking care of forests so they can keep helping us and our environment. When we need wood from trees, which technically means logging, we do it in ways that don't harm the forest too much. We have selective logging and clear cutting. Instead of cutting down all the trees in one area, we carefully choose which trees to cut. We might pick the older or bigger ones, leaving the younger ones to keep growing. This way, the forest stays healthy and keeps providing homes for animals and clean air for us. Clear cutting. Sometimes we do need to cut down larger areas of trees, but we do it in a careful way. After clear cutting, we plant new trees to replace the ones we cut down. This helps the forest to regrow and keeps it healthy. Then we have reducing waste. When we cut down trees, we try to use as much of the trees as possible. Even the parts we don't use for wood, like branches and leaves, can be turned into things like mulch or biofuels. This reduces waste and makes logging more sustainable. Protecting wildlife. We also make sure to leave parts of the forest untouched so animals have places to live and food to eat. This helps keep the ecosystem balanced even when we are cutting down trees. Replanting and reforestation. After logging, we plant new trees to replace the ones we cut down. This is called reforestation and it helps to ensure that the forest will keep growing and providing for us and for the nature. We also have here page 365 that this is clear cutting and this is selective cutting. And we also have a reading check in addition to lesson check. So we will be doing that during.